let's get into it. First of all, how you feeling? I'm feeling rejuvenated. I just had like some sweet. I had I needed like something sweet and then like tone it down with some water. So I'm feeling good now. Had me a little cheesecake bite. Yeah. What about yourself? I'm doing pretty well. I'm glad you're doing good. I am a little tired. So I'm gonna take a nap after we get done with this. Oh my gosh, I feel you. I feel you on that one. I need to take a nap too. Lord. Okay. So I have a few questions, but before I get into the questions, I first want to, whoever decides to press play on this, I first want to let everybody know how long we've known each other. <laughs> Ooh, we, it's been a minute. It's, it's, ain't, it's, it ain't been even, it's been almost, wait, my mama told me we know each other since daycare. So I'm like, I do remember her. So we had to, we've had to know each other, G, for at least 20 years. Yeah, basically. At least. At least 20 years, exactly. I I would agree, yeah, because we dig up to the same daycare, and then we end up moving by each other. I'm like, oh. We live neighbors, <laughs> yes. So we've known each other for 20-plus years, and one of the things that I never knew is that you were into fashion. Yes. So tell mm -hmm. me, how did you get into it? So it's like I was forced to get into it, because it's like if I didn't have the funds, to get what I wanted, like I'll just purchase it. I'll purchase the material, something similar to it, and I'll just learn how to make it. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the other things I used to do was thrift a lot. So I like to flip things that I already had in the class in, the, in my own closet, or I just go to the thrift store and just boom, make it into like a little masterpiece. And so that's how I started doing that with the fashion. Yeah, that is. That's actually a very inspiring story. You like, who would have known that instead of somebody introducing you to it or instead of you being inspired by somebody else, it was literally inspired off the strength of I don't have it, I don't see it, I can't afford it, I want it. So let me go, let me go do this thing. And it, it speaks to your resilience, you know what I'm saying, as a person and like your character, I feel like it shines through that testimony Thank so i'm you. very very grateful that you didn't have nothing you wanted and you decided to just go do it because i got to benefit off of it <laughs> literally so I, brought you here. I brought you here because of a piece that you made the black okay. outfit um and it is i recently took pictures in it i'm gonna send you those pictures just so you can see what it looks yeah. like and it looks amazing and i wanted to i wanted to showcase you know what i'm saying the person behind the outfit and Thank i'm glad you. that we got this story so third second question is when did you finally decide to put action behind it like how old were you what space were you in mentally emotionally were you just like okay you know what let me just do this um i would say like for myself, it was like a hobby, so I was cool. Whether I didn't know what I was doing, I was still going to rock it. If, I, if the pants weren't fully hemmed, if it wasn't cut right, like, people wouldn't know. It's my clothes. I made it myself. But uh, I took it. I ended up taking it really serious for people, I would say, like, two, two and a half years ago, right before COVID hit, um, I had reached out to someone to um, – basically um, helped me in my business because I wanted to update my sewing machine. And um, I was struggling around the time. And, yeah, uh, sewing was like an outlet for me to do something that made me comfortable when I was stressed. I'm like, let me just, you know, sew some clothes. Or when I didn't have nothing to wear, I'm like, let me just make this outfit type of stuff. Yeah, so I took it very seriously two years ago. Oh, I'm 25 now. I would say 23. I was in college. I was at NIU, a transfer student, alone, and I was mm -hmm. bored. And I was just like, you know what? Let me just start making this stuff for myself. And then a lot of people was like, oh, I like this. I like that. Let me, um, let me, you know, use your services. So I'm like, okay, cool. I did that, and that's when my business like really took off. Because I do other things pertaining to fashion. I do, like, simple alterations. So that's fashions, too, but it's just, like, a service. 
and you got fashion that is dedicated to like a line of clothes. I yeah. love that. I love that so much, and I'm glad that you had like a like you had people who you could go to for assistance, especially considering in RG is just very important to have support is very important to have that community because this can get very lonely especially when you don't know what you're doing when it's your first go around and Absolutely. something yeah so it, you. thank you so much you're welcome okay so let's talk about the first piece you ever made then let's talk about what it looked like what might have inspired it how did you feel after you made it were you satisfied were you like wait a minute i gotta do something else what did that feel uh, like? So I would say, I first piece I made when I was like younger, because I've been I, I've been sewing since I was a little girl, but I just took it serious now. Mm. So um, I'm trying to see when I was younger, I just used to take pockets off of jeans and just make them into purses. So yeah, and I I nobody will ever see that creative side of me because I was very insecure about it. I thought it was like for old people. From pockets, G, like you made purses, like yeah. So you know, just like the back pocket of a jean, yeah. And I take the scrap of the ankle part and just wrap it around, and just it technically won't even be a purse. It'll just look like you. Know, I was carrying something, but I. But that's still very innovative. Like ain't nobody think about that. Like yeah, I tried to make a purse from jeans before, girl. Like it was just it didn't look. It wasn't that. <laughs> Yeah, so I did that when I was younger, and I just, like, pushed it off to the side. Uh, I would say the first outfit that I actually made that wasn't with a sewing machine, I used to cut a lot of, uh, I used to cut a lot of people's shirts up in high school, and for myself and for my family, they'll come to me if I want to do, like, you know, the little, uh, damn, how can I explain it? You know how at the end of the shirts it'd be, like, dangling them at the ends of the mm -hmm. the the ends of the shirt or I like crop it and just cut it off and you can see like the shoulder I would say I started doing that in like eighth grade in high school oh my goodness just cutting stuff basically just cutting jeans cutting shirts I wasn't I didn't pick the sewing machine back up until I got into college and so okay. my first outfit outfit that I made in college um I had a 3x size dress it was a women's dress oh that baby was ugly but i was like i can do something with it because it's so big I can do something with it because there's like so much material so i ended up making a two-piece uh a two-piece set i made a little crop top and uh a skirt to go with that and so that was my first actual piece that i made on my sewing machine that was almost excuse me three years ago okay were you satisfied with it as soon as you saw it yeah, I actually was. I actually was. But now I look at it now, I'd be like, I ain't, I wouldn't wear that shit. <laughs> I was like, what was I thinking? It was so cute. But now I know, like, technic technicality of what to do and what not to do for the outfit. I would have, you know, did a little something, something else to it. Okay. Okay, so let's talk about the piece that you made that I bought from you. I want to know what inspired that Ooh. one. Where did it come from? I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little sexy. And like my mama, when she saw it, she was like, oh, that's giving me a woman because I don't generally wear things like that. You know, I'm trying to step uh -huh. into my grown woman. And so yeah. I want to know what what was that? Because, you know, I wear it back. I wear this top. Yeah, backwards. you wear it two different ways. Yeah, yeah. And so I just want to know where did that one come from? So I like. I like fashion as versus that's like versatile that you can just switch, swap it, and switch it. So uh, with the material, actually, can't say where I got it from, but that material when I seen it, I was like, yeah. I need the whole fucking roll, like yeah, literally, like I'm like this outfit. This is something that can be bought um, from a lot of different people. It's just like you can mix it up with so many things. And when I just saw the, like, the, 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 it's like aluminum foil that they got cheetah print in it. What is it? Cheetah or leopard print. It's black. It's shiny. It's a little see-through. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stretchy. Like, like I tell people, when I, when I try to, when I sell it, I'm like, you, 
hey, I'm sorry, but well, you can go commando. You don't have to. <laughs> you can wear a thong. You can wear, you can do anything. It shows a little bit of your skin, but it don't show as much. Like, you can do whatever. And the top itself, I love crop top. I love crisscross top because I like mm-hmm. to show off my, my breasts. So I like to mm-hmm. wear clear. I like to, like, I just like to, the cleavage to be out. And then when I don't want the cleavage to be out, I turn the shirt around and then boom. And then the back is out. Yeah. And, yeah, and I love, like, leggings and pants. I love just, like, easy outfits to put on and just, just like, really sexy. So the outfit, uh, it's a two-piece set outfit. It comes with uh, the pants, and then you got the skirt. And so you chose the skirt and the yeah. shirt. Yes. Yeah. No, I got style. the pants and the, and the, sh- and the shirt. I, oh, yeah, I you got the I should have got the skirt, though. I should have got that skirt. Listen, that means you're going to be showing skin and legs. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so good and oh my goodness like I need to know like did you know what you wanted it to look like when you bought the material or was this something that you had to sit with for a while uh, it's something I had to sit with for a while and it's basically uh, with me as fashion designers sometimes we might mimic patterns that we already have so it's like we don't want to do too much by trying to make mm-hmm. something new we can just revamp what we already have and just use that material over and over again for the same style because a lot of people they will like a style but they just won't like the material or the look of it mm-hmm. so that's the thing you can use the same same pattern for for an outfit but just different material is what catches people's eyes too to elevate it I feel it. That's good. Yeah. I actually don't think I've never thought about that when it comes to fashion. Like, oh, I like this, but I don't like the way it's okay. Yeah, okay. no. Like you can go into a you can go into Walmart right now and you see the the same style shirts, but it's different material. Cause basically you either try to match up what you already got at home or you just want some new shit. I've never thought about that. That's the fashion. That's your fashion to buy. Because baby, let me tell you, mm-hmm. never crossed my mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I got one more question for you, and I'm gonna let you go. Thank I need you. to know what are all the services that you include, and I need you to tell everybody where they can book you for your services and where they can just follow you just to look at what you do. Okay. Cool. So. With me, I feel like, oh, I offer so much. I do so much. Oh, my, I don't even know where to start. She do alterations. Uh, she do custom. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. I'm going to start off with uh, my business is Keyless Alterations Creations, LLC. It's a business where um, we offer services and alterating clothes, such as um, if you have any birthday outfits and you're going out of town, uh, SOS alterations, any same day alterations, we help you with that. Alterations uh, go into like revamping some clothes that you already have, which I call repurpose. Uh, our repurpose services, so we help you, you know, uh, transform something you already have in your closet into something brand new. Um, <clears throat> with my with my business, we offer um, we make wigs with the sewing machine. So uh, we, I'm not a stylist, but I do know how to make wigs based off your cranial size. Um, yeah, I do that. I do um, custom-made clothes, which are, uh, I do prom gowns, birthday gowns. I'm working into, like, men's custom clothes as well. Um, what else? I sometimes teach classes, basic sewing classes. I also teach... Um, um, the wig making classes as well from time to time. I do group classes with other businesses. So that's it for the uh, for the service with the business. And then for my brand, which is KOV Fashion, um, is where I have my fast fashion, which you have purchased one of the outfits, the KOV sets. And so that's that. And for my alterations business, you can follow me at Kilos Alterations Creations X2. And then if you want to see my clothing, you guys can follow me at Keela.levon on Instagram. Okay. Yes. 
All right. Thank you so much for letting me talk about you and boost you up because I really no, need to thank you so you much, you. Kristen. Thank you. Like, this is dope. I'm excited to see how everything comes out. You are so welcome. 